Quick behind the back pass to Jeff Ingram stick. The Bob Cajun native second of the playoffs cuts it to 2-1. Peterborough then ties it at two. Andy McVicker finding Ty Domi in front of the net. And Domi adds a little insult to the injury as he does his Tiger Williams routine. Moving along to the second period now, Jeff Cantlin uh, is left alone in front and he scores and that cuts the margin to three, or actually that puts the Bulls in front 3-2. And then the Peets tie it up again on the power play here. Jeff Fife stopping Ross Wilson, but Mike Ricci is there with the rebound. So it's 3-3 at this point, Ricci's first of the game. He scores another one to put the Peets ahead 4-3. And now we move to the third period, a poor clearing pass by the Bulls. Troy Stevens there to cash it in and that puts Peterborough in front. Belleville gets back into it to make it 5-5, but then the empty netter, make it 4-4 rather, or 5-4 Belleville did, but that empty netter by Jeff Ingram, his second of the game, makes it 6-4. If you're a little confused at this point, uh, when I have a little more time tomorrow, I'll sort that all out for you. The bottom line is the Peterborough Peets win the series, 6-4 uh, the score tonight, 4-1 they take the series victory. There you see Brian Marshman, the captain of Belleville, shaking hands with Peterborough's Mike Ricci. So the Peets now get their choice out of bye, or they can in fact play in the next round as well. Taking a look at the rest of the scores around the OHL this evening, there you see that final again, the Peets over Belleville 6-4, they win that best of seven series, four games to one, and as I just said, they'll get their choice now, they can either take a bye into the laden final, or they can play in the next round, and as we move along on the scoreboard, you will see that uh, Oshawa has staved off elimination tonight as they scored a 5-4 home ice victory over the Ottawa 67s. Ottawa still leading that best of seven series, three games to two. It was Cornwall blowing out uh, Toronto 13-3, so that's the last game for the Marlboros. Uh, as the Toronto Marlboros, they'll become the Hamilton Dukes next season as the Royals win that best of seven series, four games to two. They'll now await, await the winner of that uh, Oshawa-Ottawa series, providing the Peets take the bye. Now we move over to the M's division where there was a real upset. Uh, North Bay beating Kitchener tonight in Kitchener, 3-2 the final there. So the Centennials win that series four games to one. And uh, with Kitchener being eliminated, that gives the Peets the home ice advantage throughout now. They had the next best record in the league behind the Rangers. So a big upset there, North Bay eliminating Kitchener tonight, 3-2 the final. And in the other series, it was an afternoon game. Guelph again staving off elimination. They were leading this game 6-0 at one point. London came back, but the Platers held on to win 7-5. The Knights still leading that best of seven series, three games to two.